Hello everybody, welcome back to part two of my walkthrough of The Last of Us Remastered. I'm, uh, I actually changed it up. I'm uh, going to go ahead and do it on grounded difficulty for you guys. Um, so I'm going to try and take no damage. Um, hopefully I can get through it with no damage. Alright, so uh, we just witnessed a really touching uh, dramatic cutscene where Sarah dies. I went ahead and skipped a little cutscene 20 years later. Um, now we're in Boston. And apparently we're going after this guy named Robert who's stolen some merchandise from us. And uh, the woman in front of me is Tess. This is uh, Joel's new interest and partner. Uh, just to show you guys that I am on grounded mode. Um, let's go to options, game, and as you can see, I'm on grounded. Seems like more people are getting infected. That just means more people are sneaking. So here's your first optional conversation. Um, pretty easy to miss. Maybe they took Marianne. Snatch her in the middle of the night. Said she was a firefly. You believe that shit? Mm, better not mention the fireflies too loudly. You don't want the wrong person hearing you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Alright, so that's it for that. Well, I just. I, I don't like Tess. All right. Just want to put that out there. I do not like her. People said they liked her. I, I just didn't. Visiting the front. All right, we went through. Thanks. So that's story driven damage. Uh, there's really nothing you can do about that, so we're not going to count it. Uh, there's a couple a couple story driven damage um, that we can't avoid. So we'll just have to deal with it the best we can. Or we could just let Robert go. Cute. Hey Tess, you see that shit? I, was there. I, I don't like this long walk in this hallway. It's kind of. It's clear. I just used it. No patrols. And where are you off to? I guess it's just something to do while they're talking. Me too. Who else is looking for him? Uh, Marlene. She's been asking around, trying to find him. Marlene. What do the fireflies need with Robert? <laughs> you think she'd tell me? Well, what did you tell her? The truth. I got no idea where he's hiding. Good man. Hey, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's gonna be out in force soon. Yeah. See you around. Marlene looking for Robert? What do you make of that? I don't like it. You better find him before the fireflies do. This is us. Hey guys, how's it going? <sighs> Shit's stirring up out there. How are we looking over here? Uh, it's been quiet. No signs of military or infected. That's what I like to hear. I love it how like this TV is like blocking this huge Joel, hole this. in the wall, and you, it's like obvious that there's a hole behind the wall. It's like military came in here; it would that was to be the first thing they'd see. I'll take it easy out there. I mean, they could do a better job of hiding that. Oh God, this place reeks. I need to watch what they throw away down here. 
incredibly light. Let's grab our gear. Uh. Our backpacks are still here from last time. Not a lot of ammo. I don't think the shots count. Already starting to get in my way, Tess. Starting to get on my nerves. Come on. Oh. I was like, where's the stupid triangle? Gotta reload first. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Joe's so polite. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Uh, gotta give it to Tess, though, even though I don't like her. She's, she's a pretty tough woman. I guess you kind of have to be Ooh. tough in this day and age. Apocalypse. Be careful. When am I not? Is that a trick question? That's her second optional conversation. Well, I am the romantic type. Got your ways. Right. Where's the ladder? Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. It's over by the car. Got yes, it. Relax. Great, bring it over. first. <laughs> Lady, you must be thinking of someone else. <laughs> That's all relative. Come on, get, come on, Joel. What are you doing, man? This way. Uh, all right, so I'll grab some sparrows, some parts here. Nothing else in the other drawer, so I don't even bother looking. Our first pendant. I'm gonna lose track of the numbers too, so Down here. eventually I'm just gonna be like, "Here's the next thing. Here's the next thing." Because you think Robert still got our guns? There's a lot of stuff. He better. Look, once we get our merchandise back, it should be easy to unload. Well, speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? Hold up, spores. Spores. Where the hell are all these coming from? The place was clear last time. This isn't an optional conversation, but I do it anyway. Body's not that old. Better we should be able to fit through here. You okay? Yeah. Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. This way. Easy. She's not. Watch it. Watch it. Help me. Mask broke. Don't, don't leave me to turn. Alright, I'm gonna pick up this round here. What do you do? Yeah, we're gonna take him out. Him. Poor bastard. Yeah. I would like to think if I was in that situation in real life, I think I would do the same thing. I don't think I'd let him turn. Now, what am I doing? There's nothing in here, so might as well just go. Up ahead. You hear that? Shh, shh. I do recommend that you um you play this on normal mode first or easy if you want, uh, just to get used to the patterns of the enemies. Because as you can see in grounded mode we can't we can't uh, see how much health we have, and it doesn't give you uh, action buttons. Just uh, take your time through here. One thing about grounded mode is 
it's just a lot of patience and time. Don't worry about Tess. As long as you're hidden, they can't see her. Yeah, don't, don't bother risking getting damaged there. I mean, you just you can avoid them totally. And basically, that's what you're going to be doing. It and grounded mode is trying to avoid any conversation. There's a health pack there if you guys need it. But um, some confrontations you cannot avoid, which makes it extremely difficult. I don't get trophies for no damage or anything. It's just a challenge. Um, also, it helps out because since resources are really, really scarce in grounded mode, um, you don't want to get hurt um, just because you will run out of material and it just make it'll make it that much harder to fi uh, fight what I call boss bosses. Cover the entrance. I got it. There's really no. I think there's only like one boss fight really that you have to fight. All right, so just come down here. Pick up the board. Here, pass it to me. Come on. Sometimes, you know. It's a bit heavy. All right. I think I can handle it. All right. Get your ass up here. Let's move. Bossy today. All right. Like, who the hell are you talking to, bitch? Make sure there ain't any soldiers. That's why I don't like Tess. I think she's too bossy. It's clear. Come on. Your next pendant's up here. Unfortunately, there's no bottles or anything we can throw it at. We just got to shoot at it. So, just make sure we don't miss and waste ammo. Okay. Pretty freaking dark in here. Hey, little man. Gotta say though, the PlayStation 4 uh, version of it is no so much better. Men, yeah? Really brings out the depths in the game. You know he's expecting. Well, that'll make it more interesting. Go. Come on. Hey, Tess, hey, Tess. Hey, pretty lady, how you doing today? I heard you Not right now, here. Terrence. No, 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 it's, it's good. Look, Not I have to go. now, you hear me? Okay. You can do that. I'll get all huffy puffy about it. I need to get all huffy puffy about it. She's always huffy puffy. You touch it, you buy it. Yeah, shut up. Nobody talking to you. It's been a while. No Where do you think you're going? Malik, sit back down. Oh, man. Didn't realize you too. Break my foot off in your ass, boy. Sit down. Oh shit. Who's that? An old headache. Don't ask. Yeah, she was banging him. There's another artifact there, and then there's one on the wall. Guy's been hoarding all sorts of shit. Just don't go, don't go right when you first walk into this section, or else it'll start to cutscene, and you won't be able to come back.